sales engineer at Skylog Inc. Today I'm going to show you a demo all about project management and what visual planning can do for you. All right, here's our goal for today. In this video, I will show you how using visual planning can optimize your company's productivity. Whether you're a project manager or an HR specialist, a quality collaborative resource management and scheduling software is essential for any productive business. In this demo, you will learn how to apply the following points into your workflow. Number one, project employee and capacity management. Number two, job statuses. Number three, custom filters. Number four, job cost calculations. And number five, real-time reporting. Before I start, I want to mention that visual planning is fully customizable, so layouts, colors, icons, and more can be added or specifically tailored for your business. During this demo, we will navigate through four popular displays used by project managers in visual planning. Let's begin. The first display is called Project Logs. This view contains a Gantt chart and a project scheduler where drag and drop scheduling is done. At the top of the screen, we have a list of clients. If I click on one of the tabs, it will filter the selection of that client so you will only see tasks done for them specifically. So if I click on Father and Son's Investments, it will only show events on schedule under them. If I click back on ABC Corp, it will just show their events. This can be useful when dealing with a lot of active projects. Also, if I right-click at the top of the project scheduler, I can access a bunch of custom events and resource-based filters, which will help you manage your business more efficiently. So if I right-click here and go to Events, say I just wanted to see the planned tasks. If I scroll down, only planned tasks will be shown. If I right-click and go back to All, both planned and actual tasks will show. Before I schedule a task, I want to review some input editors that can be created for you. If I double click on an employee here, we can include many types of fields. In this demo, we have planned versus actual days with cost information and appearance customization. Under the detail history tab here, you can view all the planned and actual tasks. All right, now I will cover how the scheduling functionality works. If I scroll down here and say I want to schedule an actual task underneath this um, front office task, click, let go. And right now it's computing the distance from where the um, employee is to where the client location is. Um, we can also have filters in here. So say we just wanted to have someone with a development skill, this will filter here. So say I want to assign Roger, I can double click and it will bring up this input editor. If I play around with the duration here, as I decrease the duration days, the actual cost goes down. And that will be based on the um, amount of uh, dollars per day that is specified here on the side. Say I want to make it uh, 14 days, hit OK. And now Roger is scheduled. This is an example of a constraint. So this employee already has a task on this time slot. If I want to continue, I can press yes. If I hit no, he won't be scheduled. Now I'll just hit yes. And all of the events that are scheduled here will show on the Gantt chart here. Moving on, the next view is the employee scheduler. Here, we have two schedules being displayed simultaneously with employees on top and projects on the bottom. The employee scheduler has all the tasks that were scheduled in the first view on here with planned and actual day counts on the left-hand side. From this screen, you can schedule employee absences like this. So say I wanna schedule a PTO for Olivia on the 23rd, just click, drag, let go and just hit okay. And she is now scheduled on the 23rd to have PTO. The projects in the bottom can be expanded and collapsed all at once like this, or filtered by right-clicking on the desired project and then clicking on the selection filter. So say I just wanted to see Acme Limited, right-click, filter the selection, and you will only see tasks done under Acme Limited. All right, the next view to review is called Projects Dashboard. Here we have planned versus actual workload and cost information broken down by each task. We can display reports in many different types. The pie chart in the bottom breaks down uh, the number of tasks by type and the line and the histogram show workload and cost by week and month. A selection filter can allow you to see one project at a time. So as I click through the clients here, the information shown on the right will change. Okay, the last few we're gonna cover is called staffing capacity versus demand. Here we can track metrics updated in real time. The examples shown here are staff availability, staff capacity versus demand, unallocated tasks, most needed skills, and staffing issues. These tools can tell a business owner where to allocate resources and who to assign to what jobs at the right time. I hope you have a better understanding of how visual planning works. For more information or if you'd like to access a demo, go to visual-planning.com. And lastly, 
Make sure to visit us on LinkedIn and Twitter for more follow-up information. Have a good one.